So for the next shot, I'm gonna teach you how to hit a fairway bunker shot. So we've hit our tee shot, and the ball's unfortunately rolled off the fairway and into this fairway bunker. A lot of people are afraid of bunkers, but it's not as difficult as most people make it. There's just a couple of things that you need to adjust in order to hit a successful fairway bunker shot. A lot of it comes in the setup. We're gonna change the setup a little bit, and we're gonna also change how we're gonna swing just a little bit. Remember, when you're in bunkers, you can never ground the club, meaning the club head can never touch the sand like this. If the club head touches the sand, that's an automatic one stroke penalty. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is, if you take any practice swings, you wanna either take a practice swing over the ball like this, or you wanna take a practice swing outside of the bunker on the grass. So here are a couple of setup changes that I'm gonna make in order to hit the shot. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna aim just like I normally do at the target, but one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choke down on the club a little bit. Choking down on the club means that we wanna grip the club shorter than we normally would. Normally we might grip it up here, but now I want my right thumb going down to this, this uh, Golf Pride logo right here. So I'm gonna choke down because this gives me more control of the club so that when I hit the ball, that I can make solid contact. The point is here is that we don't want to have the club hit the, hit the sand before we hit the ball because that's gonna really slow down our club through the sand. We're not gonna be able to get the, club, the ball out. So I'm gonna choke down on the club a little bit. I'm gonna set up to the ball. If you notice, I'm gonna move a little bit to the left. Do you see how I've moved a little bit to the left? Normally we'd be about right here. But I'm gonna move a little bit to the left because this allows us to hit the ball earlier than we normally would. And remember, the key is that we don't want to hit the sand behind the ball. So if we move a little bit to the right, the, the ball is going to catch the club a little bit earlier than it normally would right here instead of right here. And that, that increases our probability to get this ball as close to the green as we can. So we're going to grip it a little bit shorter. We're going to move a little bit to the left. And we don't want to take as long of a swing because the main thing about this is you want to get out of the bunker. You don't want to end up back in the bunker where you hit it, to, you hit it behind the ball or you hit on top of the ball and the ball doesn't roll out. You want to get this ball as close to the green as you can or on the green. So we're going to choke down a little bit, move our feet a little bit to the left, hover the club behind the ball. We're going to take a little bit of a shorter swing and we're actually gonna, sh we're actually gonna sh shorten our follow through a little bit too. Because if we go all the way through, there's a chance that we won't be as in balance. Because balance is tough. Dig our feet in a little bit so that we have a good footing. And here we go. 